Jen. It's been a while and I wanted to check in with you guys and show you what I got going on in my garden. So here's my window box. This is just outside my kitchen window and I went with purple and white. I wanted to sort of mimic the spring colors inside my kitchen and it just looks beautiful from the inside but when you come out here and you see just this lush beautiful purple and white and a little bit of silver there um, it is just really really one of my favorite parts of the garden um, on my side yard this year so loving this combination um, I actually got this um, hay rack or uh, you know the window box here at Goodwill it was um, $6.98 uh, I picked that up I think about six months ago and finally got it put up and I am just loving the way this has come together here on the side yard and down below I've got some white geraniums um, I've got a lot of white flowers growing really love the color white when it comes to flowers in the garden and another white flowering petunia here this one looks super pretty when the light hits it um, it almost glows and uh, even at night, if it's a, a full moon, this thing just seems to light up in the moonlight. It is so pretty. Down beside the white geranium, we have a white penta. And in Florida, pentas can be perennial. I know up north they tend to be annuals, but um, I mulch them over pretty well in the winter. We don't really get a hard freeze but they tend to um, die back to sticks and then when they come back uh, in the spring, I just give them some fertilizer and water them in really well and uh, they do pretty good here. This gorgeous blooming shrub is called King's Mantle. My son actually gave this to me two years ago for Mother's Day. I was looking for something that would hide this um, electrical panel here and um, we've got pipes down under the ground so in some areas I wasn't able to plant directly into the ground but this has been in this pot for two years. It was very small when it started and it does die back all the way to sticks in the winter time. And in the spring, we get these beautiful purple blooms. I love them so much. Um, super easy to take care of in zone nine. Down beneath that I have some more white pentas. They're just beginning to get some blooms on them. I cut them back a little bit late this year. Beside that I have more white pentas. This angelonia doesn't seem to be doing very much. I'm hoping that when the sun sets more overhead, um, it won't be so blocked by the structure behind me. And um, hopefully it'll start to take off once the sun comes in. I'm not exactly sure what's going on with that one, but that is a purple angelonia just as this one is and you can see this one the blooms are doing really well and it looks very healthy so i'm not exactly sure what's going on with that other one beside that angelonia we have more white pentas and in this pot more white pentas and um, I've actually been transplanting these um, caladiums here and they've been popping up in my front garden I must have missed a couple of the bulbs when I redid my garden video if you haven't seen that video I will link that below um, but we we did a full garden uh, makeover in the front and took out the caladiums but I missed a few so as they're popping up I'm just sort of transplanting them here in this pot until I find a permanent home for them And this jasmine right now is in bloom. It is definitely the star of the show in my side garden. It smells so good. I love jasmine and um, it's pretty prolific. It, um, it grows very well here. I actually have to trim um, the edges about three times a year, especially during the growing season, to keep it in the shape of my arch um, and to keep it from growing up underneath the paneling on the side of the house. But um, it smells so good right now. If you guys have never smelled blooming jasmine, you are totally missing out. But let me just tell you, I love jasmine. In this pot here, I've got some more white pentas. They're not quite in bloom yet. I think I need to hit them with some more fertilizer. And I, I have a boxwood back there that is a uh, lone survivor. It was in my front garden and got a little too hot up there and the other ones got scorched. So while this one was still alive last year, I 
put it in this pot and I really just haven't figured out what to do with it yet so this is where it's gonna live for right now and this is the view of the side garden I just wanted to throw this in here too really quickly guys this is in my front garden when you saw us do the um, garden redo the refresh this was pretty much just sticks uh, this is my hydrangea and it is just now starting to bloom out I know the Sun is making it hard to see but I could not resist putting this in this video because they're so pretty and there's just blooms everywhere about to come onto this larger um, hydrangea here I don't know if you can see the bloom heads in the sun um, but I will do a front garden update next week and I'll give you an overview of the entire garden but I just could not resist including these gorgeous hydrangeas into this garden tour for the week of what is today's date let's see um, April 25th well guys thanks for watching today was just a quick video show you what I got growing on my side garden and I will look forward to seeing you guys in the next one take care and happy gardening